All right, so I've got a uh, couple new updates for the library. Uh, so first off is for the dual phase uh, blade builder, I've actually introduced a new control option, and I'm calling it split personality. And what it is is, as you see here, this is two styles. This is a uh, gold audio flicker blade combined with an unstable red. And what split personality does is it takes those two blades and it just randomly switches between them. So it has no set pattern. It has no set timings. It's just going to... As you have the blade active, it's going to toggle back and forth, and you can pick any of the two styles. You can pick the colors, the styles that you want. You build them in using the dual phase uh, builder in the library, and then if you choose, instead of there's going to be the twist control option and the color change option, which gives you control over the two phases, and then now there's this new split personality uh, control option, and it's just going to randomly keep changing the entire time the saber's lit. So it gives you. Uh, lets you have kind of the best of both worlds. It lets you have two styles. Now I chose two very different styles on purpose. You could choose similar styles. You could choose completely different colors. Um, but there's a lot of options and you can build your own custom style. And the idea behind this is if you have the light side and the dark side fighting within you, you can also show that on your blade so you don't have to be one or the other. Um, and it can be any of the color combinations, any of the styles you want. So I've got several other options. So that's that's two different styles put together. Return the bright star to the Mustafarians, and I may be freed from this curse. And now these are similar styles, but again, different colors. So this has a green uh, rolling pulse, and then it's going to just, whenever it wants, it's going to change to a blue Death Star. And it can be a quick change, it can be a long change, it can be jumping back and forth, because it's all just completely randomized. Um, so it just gives you really unique style. So it's just going to keep going back and forth um, whenever it wants. So it's really meant to be kind of like an erratic representation of um, two blade styles within a single uh, preset. And th there's no controls on it. It's going to just always do that. So if you choose the split personality, you're going to end up with a, a blade that has a personality of its own. And then this version, I have a audio flicker red and an unstable red mixed together. So it's both are red, but the effect keeps going back and forth. So it'll go stable, and then it'll get unstable on its own. And it's this is kind of meant to be that, you know, like kind of a play on Kylo uh, when he says he's being torn apart. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of him stabilizing and then him going unstable back and forth. And again, it's... The split personality is totally random, and it's erratic, and it does what it wants, when it wants. Um, so it just gives you some kind of really unique styles that you can put together. And there's uh, obviously the eight color options, but multiple blade style options that you can put together, mix and match, and come up with some really unique stuff. So definitely check it out. And, of course, you can preview all of these in the check-in editor uh, beta now. Um, so if you put stuff together and you want to get an idea of what it's going to look like, just use that new uh, button on the enhance screen. And then lastly, um, I just put out uh, the Crash Course Lesson 5. And in that Crash Course, I actually built these uh, new enhancements that I'm going to have here. So these are going to be on the library now. Um, and they're meant to be, it's a, actually a long time ago I put together a metal forge style, which is meant to be as if this was a metal rod heating up. Um, so now I've int I'm introducing, um, there's going to be a metal forge um, heat up as both an ignition effect and a prion. So you can choose one or the other depending on what you want to do with it. And then there's going to be a, a metal forge cool down. And the idea is it starts off with no color. This blade will slowly heat up to a red, to a dark orange, get to a bright white, and then it'll turn into your blade color. So this is the ignition version. The prion would need a prion wave. Uh, but So this is that new, new ignition option. And it's set to be uh, a quick heat up. You can extend the time, and I show that in the uh, video uh, for Lesson 5. Um, and then it'll run at your normal blade style. And then when you go to retract, it's going to do a cool down version. So it's going to reverse itself as if the blade was actually cooling off. So you go to an orange, to a red, and then to a dim. And you can extend that time. You can, uh, you can uh, speed it up. Um, but so new, new ignition and retraction options as well as a brand new prion um, and at the time I didn't have a name but I'm going to call them Metal Forge because they're similar to a style I had made back in OS2. 
Um, but that's all been added to the library now. Um, so you can check them out. Um, you know, particularly the, the new, uh, the dual phase uh, blade builder, you can just play around with a lot of options there and, and build uh, some really unique stuff. And if you haven't checked out the Crash Course videos, they are up. Um, they do build on each other, so number five came out. If you haven't watched the ones before it, you probably want to watch those first because it's kind of like a, they build upon each other in terms of the lessons and stuff. Um, but hopefully you all enjoy.